Hello everyone. My name is Larry Thacker and I am going to be doing something new which I hope is going to benefit <coughs> excuse me maybe I can edit this out. Hi my name is Larry Thacker. I'm going to do something today that I hope will become a series of videos wherein it's kind of going to be a mix of things. I, I primarily, I've, I've titled the YouTube channel that this is going on, Blind Man Walking. And full disclosure, I am not completely blind, but close enough that uh, I think I'll be able to give people a real sense of of what someone who's blind is is facing as they travel about and also hopefully give people who are blind a a sense of confidence that hey this can be done this is the way you do it uh, these are the obstacles you face this is what you do about it and I'm going to start small I'm going to walk around my neighborhood I think today I have uh, I have the day off and today I'm going to attempt to cross an intersection near my house or and then I'm going to go to the uh, coffee there's a plaza a little ways down the road and there's a coffee shop there and there's a there's a little donut shop there and hopefully one of those two will be open the, the uh, COVID thing has sort of <clears throat> sort of changed things a bit as we all know but I think one of them should be open and if not well we've had a nice walk and we're gonna have some time some during that you know as, as we move about I probably will cut the videos down and it, you won't have to uh, you know endure long periods of, of nothing interesting going on uh, unless my voice joining on is completely uninteresting which may be the case but in any case we're gonna try this and in the midst of of these little adventures I will probably share what's on my mind about different topics and I will be unapologetically who I am I, this is not meant to be uh, a sermon series, uh, but I am a Christian and a pastor. It's not meant to be a political statement, though I am a, a conservative and believe that there are certain things that, that should be done uh, to uh, you know, to make rent, to give people what they deserve and to run things smoothly uh, and to protect everyone's rights but that's not what this is about this is primarily about travel and uh and independence and doing what you can do and uh you know just uh, just just an fyi uh, you know that is who i am and it's going to come out and if that offends you you may need to look elsewhere uh, because as it will be there it's part of who i am Anyway, uh, I was really hoping to do uh, you know, this all in one piece, but I couldn't figure out how to get the camera on the back centered on me. Uh, so I'm going to have to splice these together. And hopefully, hopefully having different resolutions isn't going to be a problem. This is all new to me. I uh, Just a little bit more for those who are uh, for curious and those who may be, you know, who are blind and know something about all the tools of the trade, uh, I'm doing this on an iPhone. That will be my primary. I've got an iPhone 7 Plus right now. That will be my primary recording device. And I have a little rig, which I will put on before I go out, that you strap around your chest and put the phone uh, in, in so that the phone is basically in the center of your chest and uh, it'll be facing out or the not the, you know, the back of it will be facing out and I'm just gonna walk and you will see what 
I, I, you'll probably see, if you can see, you'll see more than I can see. Uh, if you can't, um, I will also try to add in descriptions of the things that I know about in my environment and make it, uh, make it interesting that way. And, you know, who knows, those who are sighted may be able to chime in and say, oh, well, there's also this. And by the way, did you see that? Uh, you might want to edit out that streaker that ran across your path or, you know, whatever. Who knows what can happen when we're out doing, uh, doing something like this and uh, with somebody who really can't see everything that's going on. But hopefully nothing like that. Hopefully we... Uh, you know, but then we're not trying to get our, uh, not trying to be a sensationalist here. Just trying to do something good for people. Uh, and that maybe in the process gets me a little exercise as well. Gets me out of the house a little bit. I need that. Um, but kind of getting back, uh, I have a tendency to ramble, obviously. Kind of getting back to the point, uh, or, or what I was trying to just to say, uh, I, you know, I'm using an iPhone to do all this. I still haven't figured out yet what I'm going to do to make the finished product and edit it. I hope having two different resolutions isn't going to be a problem. And then, uh, you know, get it posted up. I use as my primary computer at our home uh, a PC running Windows 10. And I took advantage of the trial, if you will, the the, the free period that uh, we were given. Everyone was given with uh, for for Jaws during this this crisis. Uh, there's a few days left in it. If I actually get this posted, uh, you can still try it uh, through through June 30th. You can still download it for free and and. Uh, you know, register and get get the full you know the version the full version up through June thirtieth to to try out and see if it's something you want. I actually think I still prefer NVDA. Uh, Jaws is very powerful. It does some things that NVDA can't. But for the day to day things that I need, NVDA actually in some cases is doing a better job. And maybe it's just that, you know, I'm not, uh, haven't tweaked and played with JAWS enough on my home machine. I do use it at work, although it's an older version. Uh, but those are, for anyone who doesn't know, those are screen reader programs. They, uh, they run on the computer and they, re they repeat back what is on the screen uh, so that somebody who can't see it knows what's there and of course it repeats as you type and as you, as you move around uh, you generally have keyboard commands so that you don't have to use the mouse that let you move around the screen and do things and read things and basically interact with the with the computer uh, the iPhone of course has uh, something called voiceover and the basics of that is it changes the screen interface so that when you are touching the screen, instead of automatically doing something, it tells you what you have your, your finger on. And you can either swipe back and forth and it'll move to the next and previous things on the screen, uh, or you can just feel around the screen and it'll tell you what your finger is on. And then when you're ready to actually do something, activate it, uh, you double tap that item and open you know open the app or activate the control whatever it is that you're doing so that's the the basics of how I'm able to interact and do what I'm doing for those who may not know oh let's see what else uh, what else might be relevant information about me You'll find out more as we go along. And of course, if you go to my website, www.lionsrealm.net, I don't guess you really need the www anymore, but I'm so used to saying it that way. Um, you will find my personal blog and more information about me than you ever cared to know. And uh, so I will leave it at that for now. Uh, for the most part, I do... As I mentioned, pastor a small church here in 
uh, I live in Richardson, but the church is in Dallas, Texas, uh, down at uh, 6929 Day Street uh, in, uh, in South Dallas. And it is a church that was founded uh, over 60 years ago as a church specifically for people with disabilities. And I think someone told me about that church many, many years ago, and I had absolutely no interest whatsoever. It's like, why do I want to be, you know, what? I've been trying to get out of that whole thing for all of my life. Why do I want to go and get involved in, in something like that? So, you know, was almost irritated the person for even bringing it up although I didn't I hope I didn't show it anyway but the uh, things change oh how they change uh, my wife has multiple sclerosis her name is Linda and she had a uh, uh, it's a long story that doesn't really need to be told told here but but short of it is, she found this church, and she said, you've got to come. You've got to come check this out. I'm like, no, we don't. We've been to, we're going to a good church. Why don't we just stay and be happy where we are? Uh, big, nice church. But, you know, the truth is, they didn't need us. And we, we, might have, we might have eventually found a place there and found something to do. But, you know, they had it all going on. They didn't need us. So this place had a wheelchair ramp and, and, and a van with a lift on it so they could pick people up uh, that, that wouldn't be able to come otherwise because, uh, because of the, the wheelchairs. And uh, wow, that's okay, that's different, I have to admit. But I really wasn't interested still. But you know how that is, to keep the peace, I went and I just knew within the first day of, of of attending there i knew this is where we belong this this is uh, where we can actually chip in and do some good i set up the website bbtemple.org for them uh we uh, we started uh teaching and and i started preaching once in a while and uh well to make a very long story a whole lot shorter uh I became the associate pastor, not that that little church needed one. And then a couple of years ago, the senior pastor unexpectedly passed away, and I became uh, the pastor of that little church. And on the one hand, it is the culmination of what God has been doing in my life, all my life. Uh, but on the other hand, I'm... I'm saddened by the way it happened. I expected many more years uh, learning things from him, mostly about how to how to love and care for people uh, that uh, uh, I didn't get uh, because God uh, God brought him home a little sooner than we expected. But that really, if you look on my profiles and so forth, that's what you see. You see Pastor... I am also a a programmer, uh, currently working for Bank of America, and that is, I tell people I do that for the earthly rewards and or earthly rewards and the other for the heavenly rewards. Uh, but that's my identity, if you will. That's who, that's who I am. I'm the pastor of that little church. I, you know, the other. It's incidental. I it, it I need it, need the money. Uh, actually, you know, helps support the church with the money. But um, that's where my heart is. I wish there's some way I could do that and nothing but that, and really, uh, really bring that church uh, to uh, to a new height, a new height. But praise God, uh, everything I have, He's given me. And I will, uh, I will go forward as, as best I can and trust him. Uh, he knew uh, he knew all this was going to set up this way, and this sort of provides an example of what I'm talking about. You know, I am who I am, and it's going to come out. 
But in the meantime, I hope you, uh, I hope you get some insight and I hope you get some uh, useful pointers either uh, as a sighted person about how we uh, manage and what obstacles we face and maybe what you could do to make it better. Uh, uh, as a blind person, I hope maybe if you are not someone who travels or if you're someone who feels uncomfortable traveling, then maybe you'll get some uh, pointers and some inspiration uh, to go out and get out and, and, and live life yourself because you know, we can't live in fear. We can't, well, let me put it, I'm going to rephrase that. We can, we can choose to live that way, uh, but it's, it's, it's unhealthy uh, and it's, it's so limiting and it's so sad to see someone who has essentially caged themselves, locked up their own cell because they're too afraid to get out and experience life and take a little risk. You know, life is full of risk. You, you uh, take a little, live a little. And you know what? I'm just going to say it. I, I promise I'm not going to do this all the time, but I'm just going to say it. It's a whole lot easier to take that risk when you know where your eternity lies. And the worst thing that can happen to you is that you go be with Jesus. All right, next time you see me, I will be uh, walking, and we'll see how it goes from there. Stop recording video. Button.